to another episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pedo. Well, you guys know. You guys aren't dumb. You know that this isn't just any old episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pedo because it's Oaks Day and I'm fired up to tip some winners. I am due. I am due to tip a winner or two. I'll be bound about that. And first off, I'm going to kick us off with the winner in race five, number four, Lime Rock. I've never been this excited for a horse to run in a particular race in my life. Almost two months ago, I tipped this girl to win this race in my Practical Punting Monthly article. Ooh, I am fired up. She on fight up. She looked pretty good in the winter, winning four out of her four races. Last start, she finished behind oh, under the Eiffel, who won pretty good on Cup Day. Look, she's unbeaten over this distance. Three from three. Third up, with Moody at the helm, she will be primed to run a mighty race. She will be primed to win this race. I am excited about it. Yes. And this week, Paddo's Papa is in race eight, number seven, Cascabel. This bloke is $21. $21 to win this race. Yeah, I reckon that's a pretty good price. Like, first of all, I last start, first up, it was pretty close to the best run of his career, I reckon. He didn't finish very far behind in second place. He didn't finish all that far behind the mighty Facil Tigre, who won on Tuesday, Cup Day, in mighty fashion. Gee, as well as that, he beat home the likes of Soul, Nine Tails. Look, look, look. He was scratched on Tuesday for this race. I reckon he is a mighty good show. $21, I'm fired up. I'll tell you what, someone who is in white hot form is Gatsy tipping for Sil Tigre to win on the Cup Day. Ooh, I'm looking forward to hearing his selection this week. Take it away, Gatsy! It's time for Gatsy's segment on the Ponty Pando Show. It's time for Gatsy's segment on the Ponty Pando Show. Folks, how are we this week? Well, Cup Day's over and done with. The Melbourne Cup goes back to France and it'll be renamed the French Cup next year. How unfortunate for us. I uh, hope everyone had a good day and found a few winners and uh, hopefully you had some up for Silk Tegra. Lovely ride, Bradley Royal Well, I thank you very much. And no results too. Uh, I think I found us a winner at Nice Odds again. Uh, race 9, number 3, Belgetio for Pete Gallagodis and Damien Oliver. Damien's flying at the moment, other than Cup Day, he's just been absolutely on fire and will be following him, I think. Uh, this bloke's had a few runs in, gets out to his favourite trip of the mile and the Flemington, he's unbeaten at the track and trip. Uh, from the draw, look, he should get a nice little smother in somewhere around the lead and uh, pop out, should be hard to beat somewhere in the straight, heading the front and hopefully we'll be cheering Galileo. Uh, we've got a rough chance to race two, number six, Princess Rock. I know it only won a Ballarat Maiden last start, but it won it alright, and it looked like it won further, it gets further, it's bred to get further, and this really is not an overly strong race, so it gets every opportunity, that's for sure. Might be a little each way chance. Uh, we've got the Adelaide Influence over here, and he's got one for you, Oaks Day, we'll see how he fares. Hey, Alex! Thanks, Cassie. Okay, I'm looking at Flemington tomorrow, race four, horse number three, Anise. There's two good reasons to back this horse. First off, the Peter Snowden and Kieran McAvoy combination has a very high strike rate. And secondly, because this Sydney horse has form around Streamer and Boxwood. I believe that Sydney form will be too good for this race. Well, the Sydney form's holding up at the moment at Flemington this carnival, so anything's possible. Well, that'll be us this week, guys. We'll see you again for Stakes Day and uh, all the best Thursday. Cheers, folks. Oh, <laughs> confident as ever. Confident as ever. Follow that guy's tips. He is in form. And I tell you what, that mate of his, he sounded confident as well about his tip too. And he's his mate. Oh, jeez, his mate had a good haircut as well. He's inspired me to get a haircut, I reckon. 
Yeah, yeah. No Keith. Keith, no video this week. Well, hopefully we get one from him tomorrow for Stakes Day, hey. Hope you're out there, Keith. Hope you're ever having some winners. Ha! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, hope you have a great Oaks Day and happy punting! <laughs>